the uh, Eddie Bracamonte side BB Pro. It's a full-time job that I wouldn't trade anything for. I really love what I do and um, I'll be doing it forever. <laughs> What's up guys, Eddie Bracamontes, IFBB Pro here at World Gym in San Diego. Eight days out from the IFBB California Pro. Gonna hit some chests, let's do it. Eight days out from my pro debut at the IVB California Pro in Culver City. And there's so many emotions that come into play. It's, it's nervous, it's excited, it's, um, gosh, it's, it's overwhelming. If you want to sum it up, it's overwhelming because, you know, if you would ask me five years ago, you know, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself being an IFBB Pro, um, competing in your pro debut at the California State Championships? You know, I would have thought you were crazy. So it's exciting, you know. And bottom line is, I'm. Um, I can't explain the joy that I have in order to be in the position that I'm in, and very fortunate to have encountered and to have been worked with the people that I'm working with and all the help that I've. Uh, received along along the uh, along the years and along the uh, whole process it's uh, something that I'll never forget um, but since energy is low and I'm not sleeping you know it's, you're not getting the most sleep right now um, and your energy output is high of course you know you're gonna have those uh, those days to where you're just super tired but you can't focus on that you know you have to focus on the bigger picture focus on the ultimate goal focus on what your heart desires and right now you know my heart desires to be to be the best you know and if my best wins the show then so be it you know and if my best is what the judge is looking for then so be it and if my best is eventually getting to that Olympia stage then that's what's gonna happen so it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a good time, you know, a good time and uh, many good memories and uh, a positive experience regardless of how shitty I feel. <laughs> it's all positive. Uh, I'm going to finish off with the drop set. I'll get as many reps as I can here with the 365 and then decrease the weight, keep moving. Um, there's really no I would typically like to get anywhere from six to eight more reps on the uh, first drop, but just do what I can and I'll keep moving. Um, typically I'll do two drops, two drop sets in this, in this one movement at the end. Excited, uh, super pumped. Um, today went through a little chest workout. Um, lately, my workouts have been really good. Um, the only thing that happens with me is just to gotta rest a little bit longer in between sets. Um, but I still try to alter my workouts to where I still get good pump and keep the intensity up. So uh, today I did a, a lot of drop sets, um, a couple super sets towards the end. 
um, just to kind of keep the blood flowing and keep my heart rate up. Uh, next, we're gonna do some uh, some flies, dumbbell flies here on the flat bench. Um, I usually just like to do pressing movement, fly movement, maybe back to presses. But I do a lot of flies in my chest routine just because I feel like a really good stretch. And for me, my shoulder, if I do a lot of presses, my shoulder kind of gets irritated. So a lot of fly motions kind of feel more comfortable and just able to isolate my chest a little better. And I've always trained that way, you know, if I get, if I find myself going through the motions, then it, it's, I get bored, you know, and I, I, I try to tell that to um, people that I help, that I train. If you get bored, then, you know, there's something wrong and you have to change it up in order to challenge yourself. And that's what I find myself doing, you know, at this point in the prep, it's really challenging, you know. Um, it, I don't, I don't want to use the word difficult because that's a negative, um, it's a, it's a negative, descriptor and I see it as a positive you know I'm challenging myself to be to be better to be stronger um, and to bring a better package uh, to the stage than uh, than when I did at nationals uh, the last show 2015 so now that I'm uh, up in the big leagues now in IFBB you know I got to bring it and I uh, got to keep working hard because it's not going to get any easier and it shouldn't because in order to get better you got to keep pushing through and uh, not get comfortable with where you're at some scientific nutrition's intro workout the uh, amino express so awesome product check it out 619 muscle carries it or go online at uh, scitechnutrition.com and pick it up there well, one thing I like to think about or put my mind on is the guys that I'm going to be standing on stage next to, it's not only motivating, but it's an honor. And yeah, they're my competition, but those guys have, have been there, done that. And so I use that as motivation for me because, hey, look, they busted their ass to get where they're at. So now it's my turn to, you know, to show them and to show the judges, to show IFBB that I'm willing to do the work and willing to put in the time and the, the uh, dedication to stand on the same stage as those guys. Um, and yeah, it's a different level of, of competition because these are the best of the best. You know, and these guys have, they, they, they all have heart, they all have passion for what we do in here in bodybuilding. And I'm just another guy that's going to be on stage, you know, trying to be my best and trying to prove myself, not only to, to them, but most importantly to myself, you know, because it's, it's a goal, it's a personal goal, and it's a, a personal accomplishment that deep down inside, I'm not going to quit, I'm not going to give up because I know that I have it in me in order to become better and better each time. And so regardless of who I'm standing on stage next to, the number one person that I'm focused on and paying the most attention to is myself and asking myself, okay, did I do everything I, ha I could do in order to be my best? Did I do all the cardio? Did I do all, you know, every, um, did I stick to every meal? Did I put 100% into every workout? And if the answer is yes, then I have nothing to worry about. The rest is up to the judges. So I can't let that preoccupy my mind and worry about that because I have no control over it. You know, the only thing I have control over is what I've done during my prep. But I do look at those guys as motivation, inspiration because shit, they did it. You know, that's why they're on stage too. So, you know, I gotta step up my game and uh, show them that I can be I can be there along with them.
thanks uh, for watching and uh, following my journey to the pro stage. Eight more days and uh, we'll keep you posted, see what happens, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks to SciTech Nutrition, our sponsor. Thanks to 619 Muscle. Thanks to uh, San Diego World Gym. I love all you guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.